Hello? Is anybody listening to me? Hello? 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 I'm calling your watch tonight. Hello? In Los Angeles, that's the voice of City Cordova. Speaker, you need to look up. From a restaurant, she's watching on her home surveillance camera, sheriff's deputies, without a warrant, aggressively question her 19-year-old daughter. <laughs> Minutes earlier, somebody at the apartment complex called 911 about people yelling and perhaps in distress. Hello? Nobody's in there, a parrot, so you guys need to leave. Okay, 19-year-old Eliza criticizes the police and yells, Don't touch me! So they handcuff her. Hello? Outside, even as the daughter says her parents are heading home, the cops continue to keep the cuffs on tight and threaten arrest. Then, when the 14-year-old brother Isaac complains and tries to video record the cops, the deputies take his phone and put him in custody. Mm. Eventually, the deputies realized there was no trouble with these teenagers. Still, a cop's argument with the parents when they got home prompted deputies to briefly detain the dad. All of this happened in October 2022. The Cordova family says they are still traumatized by the incident. And after posting the surveillance video on TikTok and asking for advice, the response was so overwhelming, the family retained a lawyer. And they are now suing the L.A. County Sheriff's Department for civil rights violations. The department will not talk about the lawsuit, but when the video first went viral, the sheriff issued a statement saying it did not show the full context. Quote, deputies announced their presence and attempted to explain the nature of the call, but the occupants were uncooperative and refused to comply. After several attempts to have the occupants of the residence exit the location to ascertain if anyone was injured inside, the deputies made entry and a use of force against a juvenile occurred. Legal experts say the deputies appear to have violated the Cordova's Fourth Amendment rights against unreasonable search and seizure, and that in retaliating against the 14-year-old who was trying to record them, the deputies trampled his First Amendment rights as well. To be fair, law enforcement does not always need a warrant to enter a home. There's something called exigent circumstances that can be in play, and that is if police believe there is somebody in distress or medical emergency at an address, the police can go in. And in this case, the door was reportedly slightly open. However, police have not yet released the 911 call audio, and that information would be crucial to determining if the deputies were given a specific apartment address or anything detailed about the alleged distress, or did the deputies just enter an apartment based on a hunch? That is against the law. Also, once the deputies realized the teenagers needed no help and the parents were on the way, the law enforcement authority should have de-escalated everything. Instead, because the teenagers were justifiably shocked and angry at the deputies and criticized them, the deputies escalated and put the teens in handcuffs. That's outrageous. And one can only hope the Cordova lawsuit against the LA Sheriff's Department is successful. Law enforcement authorities are supposed to protect and serve the community, not create anger and conflict. And whoever was in charge of this group of deputies should be fired. By the way, in Missouri, pranksters have managed to break a state government trans snitch line. The site got jammed with false reports, including one person pretending to be the late Billy Mays from OxyClean. Hi, Billy Mays here for OxyClean, the stain specialist. Powered by the air you breathe, activated by the water that you and I drink. It's Mother Nature approved, then it's safe on your colored fabrics. <laughs> Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.